All right, guys, tonight we're going to assemble the Caprese chicken from the Six Day Cookbook. Now they have my chicken breasts in the pan, and they're browned on both sides and cooked. I'm going to cover them all with pesto. And I did buy store pesto. I did not make my own this time. I was running a little low on basil. Pesto on them all. A good amount. We like pesto here. So after I do that, I'm using the idea from the Caprese salad, so it'll be slice of tomato, slice of mozzarella, slice of tomato on each one. So I'm going to do that. I have six, well I only use three chicken breasts, I bet I slice them in half. They seem pretty, pretty thick. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that on all of them. And then I'm going to cook it covered after that. That's a tiny one, so you can use a tiny slice for that one. Mm -hmm. I have two little ones left I'll put on there and cover. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and cover the pan. And then I'll show you what they look like when they're done. All right, guys, I'm doing a quick plating here of my Caprese chicken. I've got my wheat noodles and grandma's tomato sauce. My wheat noodles are that one yellow container. If you're new to eating wheat noodles and you're not so keen on the taste, my advice is to get the angel hair ones and to cook them with olive oil and chicken broth. So now I'm going to finish plating. I'm going to put the Caprese chicken on here and I'm going to garnish it with some basil fresh from the garden. So I'm gonna get my tongs, grab my chicken. So this is how it looks when it's all put together. Um, the mozzarella melted a little bit on there. And I've got my, my tomato, if you notice underneath, if you can see it, is the pesto sauce hiding under there. And so that is ready to go with a nice little pasta side dish and I'm more of a basil person than my husband is so I like to put a few extra leaves on mine and these leaves are kind of small this is a new basil plant so I can put a few extra on there like that however pretty or however you want to decorate it if you want to get like a little sprig and make it nice and pretty that's fine I'm pretty simple it's gonna go in my mouth anyway and then tonight, I'm going to pair it with this new wine I found, and it is a Roscato here, which is kind of like a Moscato, but with red wine, and I've already sampled a little bit, and it is delicious, but it is a little sweeter, and I thought it might fit this chicken pretty good. All right, enjoy.